AI coding tools are now present inside all of JetBrains ID including our favorite ID Android Studio. Yes, you heard that right. Now JetBrains has added this AI assistant directly within our Android Studio itself. Hello everyone, welcome to Native Mobile Bits. Let's start today's video and let's see how we can utilize AI Assistant inside our ID and how we can utilize the benefits of AI Assistant in our day-to-day -day coding life. To interact with AI Assistant, we need to click on this button and then we need to click on create new chat and this is having one chat interface where we can ask any doubt or any query to our AI assistant. We can also notice that the currently open file path is also added here. Let's try to interact with the AI assistant and let's ask our first question. Can you please explain the code of this file? Okay and let's see how AI assistant will respond. So this is one navigation graph file which is having multiple composable within this nav host. Let's see the answer AI assistant provided us and this is also stating the same thing that this is a navigation graph for a Jetpack Compose based Android application. It is also specifying the packages and the imports. Then it is also mentioning the main function and the purpose of it and some important points about this code. It is stating that it has a nav host, then multiple composables are there and then these are the different screens inside composables. And finally, it is also providing us the summary of this code. Okay, so this way we can understand any piece of code with the help of AI assistant. Now let's dig deeper. Let's say we did not write this piece of code and some other developer in our team wrote this piece of code. Now we got the summary of this code like what this code is doing and let's say we got one new task assigned. Okay, Some engineering manager or some product manager assigned us one new task and in that task let's say we want to add one new screen and to add that one new screen inside our application we need to define that within our nav host. So how AI assistant can help in that? Let's go to the end of this file and we can just type our prompt or our command in our natural language what we want to achieve and then AI assistant will generate the code based on that prompt. Let me show you. So we can just write create one new composable to add one new screen in our app nav graph okay so you see this is highlighted in purple color and it is telling that press tab to generate with ai okay so we have the option to provide the prompt in natural language and then ai will generate the code for us okay so we are saying that create one new composable we want to add one new screen inside our navigation graph okay let's see i have started generating the code with AI. Now AI assistant is generating the code and here we go. It created the entire piece of code we need. You see the code which we have written. We have one composable. We have added the route, enter and exit transitions, right? It is utilizing the same piece of code here inside exit and enter transitions. It has also added one dummy route, all right? and one dummy screen. We just need to create one new route here. We can just tell create one new route. Let's say we are adding user profile screen itself. Okay. For screen user profile screen. And let's see how it will generate the piece of code. It is generating and it added the entire piece of code we need to create one new route inside our sealed class. And at the same time, it also created the respective needed enum. All right. So this way, AI assistant can help us in writing code by simply providing the prompt in our natural language. 
So this is one example how AI assistant can help us in generating the piece of code and we also have the option to select different different LLM models and we can connect any models we want and our AI assistant will start utilizing that model. Right now it is using GPT-40. If we want to utilize Gemini Pro or any other Gemini model we can just change the model here and our AI assistant will start working based on that specific model. Another very handy feature of this AI assistant is we can try to fix any error with the help of AI assistant. Right now you can see that there is this error because user profile screen composable does not exist right and we are seeing this error inside our navigation graph file. So let's try to ask this with find problem feature of AI assistant. Let's click here and we can stop and and write some more prompt here can you check if this composable file even exists in the project so ai assistant is able to dig deep inside our code base and able to find that this composable file does not exist in the current code base it is also suggesting us to double check if we have deleted this file mistakenly and as this is the new feature which we are trying to implement so we need this file now so let's ask AI assistant can you help us in creating this new composable file for user profile screen okay so now we are trying to create this file with the help of AI assistant. So it is telling yes, it can give us the code which we can add for our user profile screen. Okay. And let's say we want to add this inside app module and we are not sure how we can add or in which package we should add. Right now we are using clean architecture, but let's say someone is very new and not sure in which layer or which package we should add this piece of code so we can again ask we want to add this in app module in presentation layer can you help us how we can add that and in which package so it is generating the answer and it is providing us the steps to add this composable so it is telling that you can go inside this presentation layer. We have this screens package and inside screens we have this user profile package. So here we need to add this new file. It is also suggesting the alternate steps. If we don't have this package, it is telling locate the app module, open the presentation layer and navigate to screens package and then create one new package with the name user profile and then create this file so it is telling how to add this composable as well it is telling create a Kotlin file inside this user profile package let's follow the steps and we just need to add one Kotlin file with this name alright and inside our user profile package itself we have added then add this following piece of code so let's copy and add this code now this is already added so now we are on the fifth step build the project and run and test now we can navigate back to the navigation graph and we can import this newly created composable screen and we are good to go this error is also resolved and all of this we have done with the help of AI assistant we were trying to take all the information via AI assistant and it is helping us with all of these steps and we can also generate the code with natural language prompt. So I'm loving this AI assistant which is provided by JetBrains and now JetBrains has added this within our favorite ID Android Studio and many other JetBrains ID. It can also help us in writing unit test. Let's open one view model and let's go to AI assistant. Let's minimize this and let's select 
this current file home view model and let's ask thy steps to write unit test cases for this view model and also provide us the setup for unit test like dependencies etc okay so let's see what ai assistant will provide us so we are asking for the unit test setup so it is providing us the answer with the steps and then in the first step it provided us the dependencies and it is also mentioning the details like why we need these dependencies then it is giving us one test class home view model test which is having all the different rules and these methods like before where we are setting up the dependencies and the use cases and everything and then we are having different test written with the help of AI assistant and if you are very new to unit test as usual it is providing us the steps explanation so you can read these explanation and understand what we are trying to do inside these tests so that's it for today's video and we have covered a lot of benefit of JetBrain AI assistant in this video we have learned how we can use the AI assistant we have also learned how we can understand any piece of code how we can generate the code with our natural language prompt with the help of AI assistant and we have also learned how to fix the errors with the help of AI assistant I hope you enjoyed today's part if you enjoyed it please like share and subscribe to our channel also please drop your feedback your liking or disliking in the comment section also, please share the videos with your loved ones. I will see you very soon in the next video.